what are you doing?
Yeah. Sorry for barging in like this. I thought it'd be a good place. Oh, first though, there's one more thing I figured out. Rise stopped by our store the other day. She said the dolls were cute, so I told her I made them. And she said that was creepy. Kind of stung, but I kept on showing her the other stuff I made. And in the end, she said, maybe you're an amazing guy after all. Pissed me off the way she said it, but that aside, I get it now. This is what he was talking about. Just been throwing in the towel all this time. Of course no one could understand me. I've been keeping my distance out of fear. So I decided that I'd do things my way, no matter how tough. But it ain't just about hanging out with guys who understand you and telling the rest to get bent. You gotta make an effort if you want people to understand you. I wasn't even trying. Not just about my hobby, but like, when the police suspected me, it didn't even cross my mind to try to tell them my story. I let them think whatever they want. And because of that, you, Ma, and that kid all got dragged into it. I didn't put in the slightest effort to try and make them understand. It's easier for me to act tough. So from now on, I got two rules. Rule one, be myself. Rule two, Get people to understand me. I want you to have this, Senpai. This thing's me being me. Now I can say it straight out. Huh? That other me is me. This? For reals? <laughs> I get it. So I've become a little stronger, huh? You're my hero, dude. And my best bud. So as far as getting other people to understand me, today I'm holding the Oven Mitt Puppets 101 class right here. Don't worry, even you can do it. It'll be real cute. Believe me.
Senpai! As sharp as always. Hmm, I guess this is more my thing after all. Oh, my shoulders were stiff because I've been doing stuff lately that I'm not used to. Actually, I was. Oh, you promise you won't laugh? I was studying and stuff. <laughs> I started to think studying's kind of fun. Just a little bit. Thinking about Adachi-san made me wonder if he was just weird. But then I thought, if my life had been different, I could have been just like him. Maybe everybody could. I realized that no matter how trivial something seems, it's related to my life. And that scared me. That's why during history class, it hit me suddenly that the history we were studying was all connected to me. The people back then, the things they did, their culture, it's all connected. And it's tied to me too. It's not just something that happened a long time ago in a faraway country. Real people laughed, cried, and died there. Math and physics too. They may not make any sense to me, but there are things I can use to help me understand the world. And when I thought about them that way, I got the urge to study harder. But it still didn't make any sense to me. So I'd give up, and then I'd come back to it again. It's an endless cycle. <laughs> I'm good for nothing after all, huh? <laughs> Thanks. My way of thinking has changed a lot over this past year. But I think what changed the most is that I like this town now. I didn't hate it before, but it didn't really mean anything to me. Now though, I realize that everyone is here. Yukiko, Yosuke, even you. All my friends and family. It was the people I believed in that gave me the strength to see the case through. So even if some other weird thing shows up again, I'll be okay, as long as everyone's with me. If I believe in them, 
and myself. I can always find a path. That's what I think. will help me do more to protect the ones I love. No matter how far away you go, we all want to protect you. We all love you after all. You're back. Senpai.
thousand. That line over there is the shopping district. That's us. <laughs> We're so small. I need to remember that. Senpai, you're leaving in the spring, right? I've made up my mind about something. You see... I'm thinking of going back into showbiz this spring. I am Rizet, after all. And when I consider it that way, I think I can have more fun working. I know how hard it is for a star to make a comeback after an entire year's absence. But even then, I want to start over from the beginning. Do you remember the fan who gave me that letter? And my old manager, Inoue-san? For my family, everyone, you, and for myself. Senpai, this... I want you to have it, Senpai. It's the one we took at school. I look really normal, don't I? But even then, I signed it Rosette. A Rosette without a fake smile. Senpai, I won't make the same mistake. I won't run away. I won't try to be someone I'm not. The many Riseis inside of me, I want to cherish them. I quit thinking about such stupid things. I mean, in reality, there's no such thing as a real me or a fake me. As long as you know what you really want to do, no matter how hard it is, you'll be okay. I can do it! have changed? I see. I've become a little stronger. Thanks to you being with me. I want to find lots of different me's. And I want to get stronger, so instead of running away from them, I'll welcome them with open arms. I was relying on you, but I want to be able to stand on my own two feet. Thank you, Senpai. I love you. I got that out. I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's go eat somewhere. After all, come spring, I won't be able to do that anymore. Let's go, senpai. home.
Yeah. Sorry for barging in like this. I wanted to talk to you, or, well, more like I wanted to ask you something. You know, well, uh, it, it's about a present. What would be, uh... Oh, okay, let me start over. I want to give someone a present. I don't know what they'd like, so... I thought I'd ask for your advice. It, it, it's for a woman. Um, I want to give it to Ma. That's what makes it so hard. There's got to be something it wouldn't be a good idea to give her. I am begging you. I have no idea what to give her. I want to be damn sure Mom's happy with it. I should tell you, Ma went to the hospital. Oh, it was just for an exam, though. She's out already and doing totally fine. But the tests seemed like they were rough on her, so I want to give her something like a hospitality award. Stop teasing me. I went to go visit her while she was there. It was hard for me to see her in that hospital, though. When I was there, Ma looked at me and said, You've changed. She said, Your father and I are proud of you, son. Pretty funny, huh? I ain't too bright and I keep causing her all this trouble. And she says she's proud of me. I mean, I... I'm the one who should be proud of her. She raised a punk like me without a single complaint and worked herself to the bone, and no one thanked her for it. I just... I feel like I need to give her some encouragement now and then. <laughs> Getting kind of leaky here. Ma was right, though. I have changed. It was because I got to know you guys. Until I met you, I was so mad that people saw me as some weirdo that I tried to get back at anyone who looked at me funny. I wasn't holding my head up high. I wasn't proud of myself. But getting to know you better made me realize something. I don't think it matters what kind of guy I am. As long as I can hold my head up high, Ma's going to be proud of me. Still, I want to become someone that Ma and you guys can be proud of. So I'm going to spend my life keeping myself in check to make sure I don't lose my way again or start lying to myself. New power. This must be another me, huh? And I'll keep changing however I want to from here on out. I... I want to fight for others instead of just for myself. I'd rather die protecting something that matters than worrying if I can win the fight. I think that's the way to be. And one day, I hope I can be strong enough to protect you too. It takes a hell of a strong man to say that, Sensei. I've got a long way to go. Well then, let's make that gift. My present to Ma. I got some tools for you to work with too. It's cold out now, so maybe something warm for when she goes to sleep would be good. 
hey, how about a crocheted hugging pillow you can put a hot water bottle inside? I'll call it a, a warmy yarny. <laughs> if we work together on it, it'll be a masterpiece. Ma always seems to like it when I tell her stories about you, so she'll love this. Man, I'm glad I asked you, senpai. Wasn't this a great idea? Sorry. 